Okay, let's take a look at the male reproductive model. From the lateral aspect, there's not a lot of detail associated with it. Of course, you see the penis off to the front. The glans penis is the tip of the penis. If the penis is uncircumcised, that is, it's unaltered from birth, then covering the glands of the penis is the foreskin that we more properly refer to as the prepus. If the prepus is removed via circumcision, then you're looking right at the exposed glands. Okay? This round protuberance there is the urinary bladder. Here's a little section of the ureter that goes into the bladder. This round protuberance down here is the prostate gland. Kind of wedged in between there is the seminal vesicle. And then this purple structure that wraps around and goes down to the testy is the vas or ductus deferens. To see more detail, we'll look at the medial aspect. Okay? From the posterior side of this model, we have the rectum with the anus, of course, and then the internal and external sphincters are on either side of that anus. Here sits a cross-section of my urinary bladder. And the urinary bladder uh, drains urine through the urethra, just as the female does, except the urethra in a male, obviously, because of anatomy, is longer than the female urethra. Another change is that the male urethra is divided up into three parts. The first part of the urethra goes through this yellow gland here. This is your prostate gland. And the urethra that goes through there is referred to as your prostatic urethra, okay? Now, once I go through the prostatic urethra, I go through this little um, uh, area of muscle. That muscular area is referred to as the urogenital diaphragm. And just that little centimeter long length of the urethra that goes through there is referred to as your membranous urethra. The rest, almost 75% or so of the urethra, travels down through the penis, specifically the corpus spongiosum of the penis. So this more uh, terminal portion, then we'll say, of the urethra is either the spongy urethra or we'll call it the penile urethra. Okay? As I said, the penis is made up of more than one area. The spongy um, urethra goes through the corpus spongiosum. That's a singular, um, uh, uh, singular structure. And then here, you can see the yellow portion up top and here it is in cross-section, that is part of the corpus cavernosum, or plural, it would be corpora cavernosa. You have a paired structure, that's the corpora cavernosa, that's responsible for the rigidity of the erection. And then you've got the singular corpus spongiosum that's going to terminate in what we refer to as the glans penis. Okay? This blue here, that's your, um, your pubic symphysis. And then we'll come work our way back here to the prostate gland once again. In addition to the prostatic urethra, you also find another tube that goes through the prostate gland. And this is referred to as your ejaculatory duct. The ejaculatory duct is emerging of my seminal vesicle and the, the vas deferens or the ductus deferens. Okay? The seminal vesicle, once again, you can see here from the medial aspect. And then I have this little bulbous projection right there. That little thing is your um, Cowper's gland, okay? The Cowper's gland. And Cowper's gland secretes part of your semen, but it's actually secreted prior to ejaculation. So it's actually a pre-ejaculate that comes out and gets rid of traces of acidic urine that was in there um, from your last micturition. Come down here and take a look at the cross-section of the testy. So within that testy, I see this comma-shaped thing right there. That comma-shaped thing is your epididymis. That's where the sperm go for storage and maturation. And then off the epididymis, they head up the vas deferens, which is going to wrap again around the outside of this model and come back to join with the seminal vesicle. So a real quick overview. I've got the corpus spongiosum with the spongy or penile urethra. I have the corpora cavernosa that's in there. I got my pubic symphysis. I have the testy with the epididymis and part of the vas deferens. The rest of the vas deferens wraps around, wraps around and joins with the seminal vesicle. Okay? They join at what's referred to as the ejaculatory duct. The ejaculatory duct merges with the prostatic urethra. We go through the membranous urethra and again, out the spongy urethra. Okay? The Cowper's gland, or you'll also see it called the bulbo urethral gland, is right here. That secretes the pre-ejaculate. And then posterior on this model, of course, then is the rectum and the anus. And up here sits the urinary bladder. And I think that's a pretty decent overview of the male reproductive system.